So you've decided to buy a condominium, but are you better off buying an already existing unit resale or are you better off buying a unit pre-construction that would be ready in about four years? Resale or pre-construction? In this video, I'm gonna explain the difference between the two and give you five factors that you must consider before making a decision. But if you haven't yet subscribed, do click subscribe and give the video a like and let's get right into it. The main difference between buying a resale unit and a pre-construction unit is the closing date, meaning the date which you're actually able to move into the property. So generally speaking with a resale unit, you're able to move in 60 to 90 days from the time that you purchase the property. Whereas with a pre-construction, unit, you're able to move in something like three to four years after the time you purchase it. The very first factor to consider is that with a resale property, you're able to physically go there, you're able to check it out. Whereas when you buy a pre-construction, you're buying off of a blueprint. You have your expectation of what it's going to look like, but it doesn't always turn out to be the reality. It's like online shopping. Sometimes you buy something because it's aesthetically pleasing, but it arrives and it's not at all what you expected. Whereas with a resale unit, you know the neighborhood you're buying into you can go up to the condo and see the view as well as check out the building amenities factor number two is money with a resale unit you need to come up with 100 of the purchase price by 90 days and this money can come either from your savings or from a mortgage whereas with a pre-construction unit only 20 percent of the money is due up front the remaining 80 percent is paid later on four years later once the building closes and is ready to be occupied so if you need a considerable amount of time for you to save up money then pre-construction is probably a better option as it has a much lower barrier to entry if you are let's say retiring within the next few years or for whatever reason you're expecting a significant income drop, then you may want to consider buying resale because you will be eligible to qualify for a higher mortgage. Factor number three to consider are the maintenance fees. Generally with resale condos, they have higher maintenance fees. It's been said that the older the building is, the higher the maintenance fees are as a result. The buildings are less efficient. Let's say for instance that you're buying a resale condominium that's a little bit older, very often there's wear and tear with these buildings and management has to raise the maintenance fees for the units in order to get the money to like repair an elevator or do new windows or something of that nature. With a lot of the older condominiums, we see that the maintenance fees are increasing every single year. Whereas when you buy pre-construction, you can expect to spend very little on monthly maintenance fees. And this is especially important if you're buying for investment purposes and you're planning to rent out the property. All the numbers matter. Let's say if you're renting out a unit for two thousand dollars that extra couple hundred dollars that you're spending on maintenance fees could be the difference between you being cash flow negative or cash flow positive a pre-construction unit is customizable with regards to resale what you see is what you get you only be able to buy the properties which are on the market and more likely than not, there's something about the property which you don't like. So the good news is, is of course you can do renovations once the property closes, but not everybody wants to go through that hassle. Whereas when you buy a pre-construction, you can customize everything to the tiniest detail. You're able to choose your floor plan. You're able to choose your view. Closer to the time the building is constructed, usually a couple years after purchasing it, you're able to choose the finishes and so much more. And the next factor to consider is the liquidity. With a resale property, you have great liquidity because as soon as you close on the property, you can choose to sell it if you want to. You can sell it, you can move in, or you can rent out the unit. Whereas with a pre-construction property, you can't back out. From the moment that you buy a pre-construction property, you're in it for the long haul. Exceptions to this rule are rare and they are cumbersome and costly. So you're pretty much binded to the purchase agreement. But the great news is you can do something called an assignment, which is in where you sell the unit prior to actually closing on it. And I've talked about that in depth in this video. I will link over here. However, usually in this case, you would have to sell it below market value because you can't properly advertise it. So there you have it, your five factors to consider to help you decide if you should buy resale or you should buy pre-construction. And if you got value from this video, do consider subscribing as on this channel, I talk real estate and I talk finance. And if you're considering buying or selling, then do contact me. And if you're a real estate agent that's watching this video, I'd love to connect with you. Let's talk about how we can partner up. I'm with eXp Realty. My contact information is in the description box below, and I will look forward to seeing you all next time.